Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes or More with the Script Mentor. I am the Script Mentor and your host, Gino Scala. This and cool. I want to take this time to point out some fairly common mistakes that I am seeing of late, mostly from very, very new screenwriters. And the first is how they describe themselves um, in the screenwriting community. For example, I have seen people call themselves WGA writers. And they have written one script. Now, when you drill down with this, you'll discover that the screenwriter uh, unbeknownst to them, they don't really know any better because they haven't been around much. But they have written a screenplay and registered with the WGA, the Writers Guild of America. And they claim themselves to be, at that point, a writer with the WGA. Now, let me tell you what the WGA is. It is the Writers Guild of America, but it's also, the Guild is a union. And it is a union of veteran professional screenwriters. And to achieve the status of being a WGA screenwriter, you must be uh, you, you must qualify for w WGA status by being volunteered or introduced by another member after having worked on a union-sanctioned film project, mostly feature films. So any feature film that you have written or have co-written or have doctored or added to in any significant way, you can be invited or nominated for membership. Therefore, the WGA does cursory background investigation as to what the film project was that you were involved in and they offer you membership and you pay an annual dues or monthly dues. As a WGA writer, you're required, when, if you're hired, you have a, a range where, uh, of pay rate. Um, the latest contract, well, they're obviously on strike now, but the previous contract was the minimum of 83,000 and it can go up to, you know, two or four percent of the overall budget and whatever is basically negotiated. Some, some well-known and highly successful screenwriters can earn several million dollars a film, uh, as their going rate. But in general, as a WGA writer, if you were asked by a production company that is doing a union sanctioned project, whereby all the crew are unionized in their own specific unions, then you as a non-union writer can be involved and earn your way into the union or the guild. So to call yourself a WGA screenwriter is very incorrect, okay? You are not a WGA writer by virtue of writing a screenplay and having it registered with the WGA. Okay. This would also include calling oneself a, a writer for um, International Screenwriters Association, ISA. Uh, ISA is a social group, professional, perhaps. I don't know quite how professional, but 
It's basically an online group where people can submit screenplays, pay for log line, uh, pay for posting a log line. They offer some jobs, things of that nature. But submitting your screenplay to ISA for review does not make you an ISA writer. Unless, of course, you are employed by a ISA to write articles for them. A third situation might come in the form of cover fly. I have seen people say they have written for, they write for cover fly or write for IMDB or uh, Movie Bites, which is a, uh, a, a newsletter. Now, there are occasions, I do know some writers that write for Movie Bites. I do know writers that write for Coverfly. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about just the, the new screenwriter who submits or pays for the newsletter for Coverfly, submits their uh, screenplay for review or to send out to various uh, screenwriting competitions and festivals, and then they call themselves a writer with Coverfly. And that's not the case. Now, uh, so you have to keep that in mind. You're generally a freelance screenwriter, and you write spec screenplays, and you're only an employee of a production company or a writing company, such as my companies, the Script Mentor or Shark Eating Man Productions, where you're an employee, you're paid to do certain things. Then you can say, I am a member or I am an employee of the Script Mentor. I am an employee of Coverfly. I am an employee of IMDB. Obviously, these sites do have employees, but don't confuse submitting your screenplay to being a member of that site. The key. So that'll do it for this episode, episode 215 of Five Minutes or More with the Script Mentor. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.